So, tan x is a special function because, as one of the trigonometric functions, it's a combination of the other two, of sine and cosine. In fact, it's the ratio of the two. Tan x is sine x over cos x. And this is a very important identity that you need to know. Now, the thing about this is, in sketching tan, is that what you've got to understand is that cosine, um, and we sketched it in one of the previous videos, when cosine intersects the x-axis, at those points it is zero. So when cosine x is zero, we have sine x over zero. And so this creates asymptotes. And so there are points on the tan graph that do not actually exist. So when you're sketching tan, it looks like this. I always don't leave quite enough room. Okay, so there's these points where I'm drawing on these dotted lines. These are called asymptotes, and that is where the graph does not exist. And you can see that the curve tends towards these straight vertical lines. And it works either side of the y-axis. Uh, there we are. Okay. So we're working between 0, 360. So that's 2pi. So if that's 360, then that's 180 degrees. So that's pi. So these asymptotes, that's a quarter of the way, that's, two, that's three quarters of the way. So this is at 90 degrees, or pi over 2, and this is at 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2. So when, cos, um, when you're looking at cos of pi over 2, or cos of 90 degrees, then cosine is 0. And that means you've got 0 on the bottom of the fraction, which creates that asymptote because you can't divide by zero. And then you've got the reverse so over the other side, so we've got minus 360 degrees, which is minus 2 pi. You've got minus 180 degrees, which is minus pi. Here you have minus 270 degrees, so minus 3 pi over 2. And here you've got minus 90 degrees, or minus pi over 2. Okay? And we're not bounded, we don't have a maximum point or a minimum point of 1 and minus 1, as sine and cosine did. These tend towards infinity, so the range of this function is any value along the y-axis that you like. Okay, so it goes up and up and up and up, and down, down, down. Okay? And this is what the tan graph looks like. And in the next video we're going to solve an equation that involves the tan curve.